Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and today I'm doing your weekly horoscope forecast for all the zodiac signs. This is for the week of April 1st through the 7th, 2019. Um, welcome. If you if this is the first time that you're tuning into my channel, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon on the bottom right hand corner of this video so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish. Also, if you'd like to book a private psychic reading with me, you can go to my website it's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop also be sure to follow me on instagram and facebook at psychic medium ray let's get into the horoscopes for this week and see what's in store for all the signs Aries, this week for you, Aries, this is going to be a week in which you uh, have been working extremely hard uh with the weeks prior leading up to this week and this week uh, there's going to be some people that are going to give you compliments there's going to be some form of gratitude expressed um, to you Aries because you've been working extremely hard and now it's time for you to kind of reap the rewards of your hard work and you're just at the cusp of this you know on the verge of this um, being even bigger in the near future so Spirit is saying for you to kind of enjoy the moment, live for it. At the next period that you're going to see a lot of fulfillment and recognition is going to be in September. But for right now, this month is very uh, important, the month of April for a lot of you Aries out there. Um, some of you later this week could be feeling like there's a situation in your life, in your waking life that has you kind of feeling helpless and hopeless, not really knowing what direction to go to or who to turn to or who you can even trust or even open up to you know uh anyone in particular even though you may have friends that are close or bffs you know there's going going to be something that kind of has you not wanting to say anything and kind of contemplating but spirit is there to help you uh ground yourself pace yourself with whatever it, it is that is going on and ask yourself, does it help to kind of dwell on it if you can't change the fact uh, right now? Or should you just wait? But Spirit is saying that um, someone is going to reach out to you. There's going to be someone that comes in this week that is possibly needing some help. They're needing some kind of guidance um, at some level from you, some inner wisdom. And so, you know listen to them and kind of help them as best as you can uh also pay attention to your communication this week because a lot of you aries out there could be having some difficulties or hang-ups with communication um even though we're not in retrograde right now uh it's going to be something where you know you could easily not send an email that you were supposed to or uh, the way that, you know, the tone of your email, you know, the, the tone of your voice when you're speaking to people, there could be some sarcasm easily, you know, exchange with somebody that, you know, you feel like is being cynical or etc. So just kind of watch that and um, make sure that it's not too diva-ish <laughs> in some ways because it can cause some discord or some upsets and powerful discussions later on in the week but that's the horoscope for this week for the sign of aries again if you'd like to um, set up a private reading with me you can go to my website it's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop also be sure to follow me on facebook and instagram at psychic medium ray and uh, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon on the bottom right hand corner of this video so that way you can be notified of any future videos that i publish if you haven't already done so blessings and love and light have an amazing week Taurus, this week for you Taurians out there, um, a lot of your dreams could be finally coming true. Things that you've wanted to desire to manifest in your life are happening. So while there has been some fair share of drama from other people uh, throwing shade or, you know, kind of interfering in your own personal affairs, whether this is family or just people that you know or that they claim to know you. There's a lot of healing being done, and now it's like you're feeling like there's some validation. The universe, you're going to be given signs this week, most of all, for a lot of Utorians out there that the God, you know, the God source, the source of all good in the universe has not abandoned you, and that um, there is, you know, there is a higher power at work and play, and things are going to turn out in your favor. You do need to embrace, though, your inner guidance, your inner guru. A lot of you out there have that confidence but some reason you know you've maybe shut it out for for whatever reason whether it's because you know there's people that 
criticize you or don't accept you, but Spirit is wanting you to tap into your inner goddess or God this week in particular and to do things that you're led to do. So if you're led to go and get a donut from a donut shop and you normally don't go to that place, go because, you know, everything happens for a rhyme and reason. It could be that when you go there, you're going to see a sign. Maybe it's an angel number. Perhaps it's going to be a conversation with the person in that donut shop that, you know, teaches you a lesson, etc. So try not to overanalyze every aspect or control every aspect of your life, but just let things flow. That's the message. Let let things flow this week in particular for you. Wherever you're at, wherever you go, let that energy flow through you and just listen to what is being said by other people and you're going to gain that knowledge. You're going to gain that confidence and you're also going to find solutions for problems that are existent in your life right now, but perhaps you haven't been able to tackle that beast. You haven't been able to tackle those things. So it, these are going to be some painful, you know, uh, conversations later in the week that you may have for some of you out there. Um, not all of the Torians, but there may be some painful discussions, you know, revealing the innermost thoughts uh, or feelings that you have about someone. This could be more of opinions, but it's kind of like you need to let this out and this is the perfect time to do so. Um, the last quarter um, is is on the 28th, which is, um, well, that was this week. That's when it started, this last week. But um, the new moon is happening on Friday, on the 5th of April. So with the new moon's energy, this is a time of, of really starting a new kind of putting the groundwork down that you need to and that's what you need to do this week for all you Torians out there so blessings and love and light if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up also be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at psychic medium Ray if you'd like to book a private psychic reading I don't just read celebrities I read everyday people you can um, go ahead and visit me at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop while you're there go ahead and browse the jewelry that I have on there jewelry pendants necklace for sale and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel go ahead and hit that red subscribe button before this video ends on the bottom right hand corner of this video as well as a notification bell icon so that way you can be notified of any future videos that I publish on this channel so blessings and love and light have an amazing week wherever you are Gemini, my fellow Geminis out there, uh, this week is about rebuilding. A lot of us need to really focus on what has been shattered, relationships that have gone bad, friendships that have gone bad, things that have not been falling into place for us Geminis. We're going to need to really find that inner strength in our inner God, our inner goddess uh, and really really just work on rebuilding trust with people a lot of us have been hurt by someone recently this may not apply to every single Gemini but for me in particular and a lot of other my fellow Gemini's I know that's the case if you've been hurt by someone deeply on a level maybe that you can't trust them or they've been treating you some kind of way spirit is saying basically this is a week for you to kind of go within the depths of your soul and find forgiveness for whoever has hurt you and don't hold on to grudges because because that's toxic um, and focus on rebuilding yourself we need to focus on self-love right now more than ever this week and really rebuilding what is not working in our life like we can't change other people but we can change ourselves we can change our thought processes our patterns but most of all our actions and that's what we are held accountable for whatever we do so whatever energy you're putting out as a fellow Gemini out into the universe that's going to be coming back to you and it's that's what attracts uh, and creates a lot of turmoil and chaos when you are kind of you know vibrating more on the negative side of things which is very easy for us because we do have a duality as gemini's so we need to really focus and pick and choose your battles wisely spirit is saying this week you know it's gonna be a week where you're gonna you know be on social media there could be a lot of cyber bullying there could be someone that you don't really like or that they don't like you but there's something that you know that's going on that and this could not even be on in um social media it could be in your work life you know or with your family but there is going to be somebody that comes in trying to be messy trying to get in your face trying to you know start something spirit is saying just maintain your 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 calmness be calm cool and collective and 
don't respond in that second because a lot of times that's where we go wrong as Geminis. We get in the heat of the moment and we want to respond back right when we're upset. And sometimes you, you can say things that you can never take back. So kind of step away from it. And it's best to always approach a situation when after you've cooled down, after you've had time to recollect your thoughts and what you really want to say um, and what you really want to convey across is to kind of step away from that. Um, there's a lot of healing that is going on this week, even though there's going to be some moments where they may not be so pleasant for every single Gemini. There is healing. This is part of the rebuilding that I'm talking about that you are going to need to really go in. The healing is going to take place by either you doing rituals like working with uh, healing candles, green candles in particular is the color of healing, praying to Archangel uh, Raphael, uh, wearing some malachite, peridot, uh, aventine. You know, there's different, different type of crystals, green fluorite. Uh, that you can use in a green appetite or like a golden appetite. You can use that. There's different... Um, you know, ways of kind of healing. Some of the healing may be just you talking and verbally expressing how you feel because a lot of Geminis, uh, a lot of us Geminis kind of hold on to that. Um, and slowing down, a lot of you want to jump into relationships or friendships and want to go into it really fast. And Spirit is saying they know your heart and they know what you want, but you can't have it at that particular moment. And patience is not one of our best virtues. So you need to kind of ease into situations, ease into friendships or relationships, and try not to force it or have your way. Uh, that's where we go wrong when we try to force things or have them go our way. So as Geminis, we need to kind of just let things flow, like I've said before, and just be very relaxed. But don't be afraid to take the lead. You know, if you have to step up and be a leader for your work job, you know, be a leadership role or be in a leadership role or in a leadership position, even in your your relationships or friendships do that but do it from a place of love do it slowly and make sure that you know you're making yourself happy by doing this and not because you're obligated to so that's the big message for gemini's out there i want to thank you so much for tuning in if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of this video, as well as the notification bell icon. That way you can be notified of any future videos that I do publish. Um, blessings and love and light. Have an amazing, amazing week out there. Cancer, my moon child's out there. How are y'all? Um, this week for you, moon child, there is going to be a lot of you having to go uh, and really kind of analyze every situation in your life. Spirit is saying right now that you're refusing to see the bigger picture. There could be problems either in your relationship, problems in your finances, but a lot of you are kind of neglecting or not wanting to really uh, accept what it is that is happening right now. So Spirit is saying for you to kind of let let go of any of these restraints that you have and stop refusing to see the truth or the inner the um, you know the the thing that is happening in your life there you need to kind of accept it and you need to find that once you accept that what is happening whatever is happening that you don't want to really accept um you're going to come and cross over into your higher self and really start attracting the right people into your life, attracting the right jobs, uh, friendships, situations. Um, right now, there's something this week that has you kind of contemplating, thinking about the bigger picture. This could be a powerful discussion that you uh, have later in the week with someone that you care about, a partner in particular, and maybe you are both reassessing your careers. Where you are at is not necessarily where you're happy to be or even if you're contemplating on buying property or moving you know this could be what spirit is showing me and what's coming through is almost like there is a a big big decision that you both that will impact both of you if you're in a relationship or it will impact your family your children in some kind of way you have to really kind of contemplate you may not be doing that change right now but you want to you're planning ahead and so you need to really kind of focus right now um and really kind of come to a decision more or less depending on what you feel uh, and what feels right to you. And Spirit is saying it's okay to you to, for you to change uh, what your you know your focus is going to. You can change it, or you can stay kind of you know focused on the wrong things. But Spirit is showing me that you're going to be you know, focusing on the right things. And like I said, there's going to be a connection made. 
um, like an epiphany for you that you're just going to have this moment where you're, you're going to have the, the right answer that you've been searching for. And it may not come from you, but it may come from someone else, a conversation with someone else, with a family member, but there is a solution for you. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. And if you'd like to book a private psychic reading with me, you can go to my website. It's www www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Um, I, I do want to say that I am uh, booked right now. Um, and so readings are will take, email readings will take 7 to 21 business days. That's the turnaround time. But uh, I do offer emergency readings if you want to get that done sooner. The emergency readings turnaround time is 24 to 48 hours. And also, um, if you'd like to do a chat reading that has a, a five to eight week waiting period, um, you can do that as well for the private reading. So blessings and love and light. Have an amazing, amazing week. My beautiful Leos out there, how are y'all? This is um, going to be your forecast for this week. This week for you, Leos, uh, Leo, uh, what you're going to be finding this week is that there is a, a connection, a friendship, a relationship that is going to be strengthening. The bonds that you have with this person is going to strengthen. You could be thinking of them. They text you. You could be, um, you know, doing your job and they, you know, they call you. But there is going to be over the next couple of months uh, a beautiful bond with someone that you care about and that they care about you. It's mutually exchanged. This, these feelings are mutually uh, exchanged and it couldn't just it could not just be one person it could be several people that you have bonds with that are very similar or they mirror mirror each other but spirit is saying that these bonds are going to strengthen and through this you're going to be able to spread your wings you're going to be able to kind of move forward in your life for a lot of you leos out there that have been stuck or perhaps have been creatively blocked or you're not just really sure what you know is going to happen in your future right now you're trying to kind of take each day as it comes and if you're doing that you're doing the right thing if you're too worried about what's the future outcome of your life then basically you're kind of derailing yourself because you you can change the tomorrows you can't change you know the the past and you can also change the today you know whatever is happening today but spirit is showing me that you are on the right path for a lot of you leos out there and you are going to be kind of breaking free. There's a lot of sensations or feelings right now within yourself that's being stirred up that kind of makes you feel a little bit more free, unrestrained, un unapologetic to express yourself in different kind of ways. So you may be expressing yourself this week through, you know, uh, music, uh, you know, your fashion, how you dress, your wardrobe. Um, the songs that come on that make you happy, the songs that make you cry or that kind of pull at your your uh, your emotions. It's OK to cry. It's OK to release. If you get to that point, a lot of people have this, you know, toxic masculinity or even some females think that it's weak to kind of cry or to purge. Um, these are, you know, kind of social conditioning behaviors and aspects that, you know, generations of family members have programmed we basically have been programmed to be emotionally void and with technology that doesn't help anymore anymore so so spirit is saying for you to really embrace whatever you're feeling if you feel like you need to break down and cry cry even if it's in front of people because a lot of people don't want to cry in front of other people because they feel like they're ugly criers or <laughs> you know that it's just people are going to judge them who cares you know who cares what people think and if they judge you you know you are leo you are the king and queen of the jungle so basically do what you must to feel free and unrestrained and unapologetic this week you're going to be a lot of you are going to be sharing love sharing what you have you want to give to others that's your heart your heart is pure your heart is beautiful and you want to give to other people and you're going to be bringing people together um believe it or not there's a lot of people that want to be in your life they find you attractive they find you appealing they find you so comforting and nurturing and that's just a typical leo that's that's how leos are so embrace your strength and give your strength to people that deserve it 
And that's the message for this week. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. Don't forget to book a private psychic reading if you'd like a reading at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already by hitting that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of this video, as well as a notification bell icon. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week. Virgo, this week for you, Virgo, it's all about finding the balance. A lot of you are feeling very scatterbrained. You're feeling kind of pulled in different directions. Maybe you're starting a project, starting, you know, a book, starting writing something, and then you just stop and you really can't continue. You really don't have, um, you know, the idea of how to continue or what to say next or what to do. So again, it's the feeling of being kind of scatterbrained and uh, feeling drained energetically. A lot of you could be feeling a lot of fatigue this week for Virgos out there. It's important for you to really kind of find your balance right now. Prioritize things and say no to things and people and situations that are not going to help you feel relaxed. You need to take care of yourself because your health is at the forefront. A lot of you could be having a weak immune system, recovering from a cold, from a flu, from a sinus infection. You may not be feeling your best and if you're pushing yourself further, you're going to just get sicker. So spirit is wanting you to really take your health into consideration and take it very, uh, not lightly, take it seriously. Um, there's also a lot of focus on your heart chakra. A lot of you right now are finding that maybe you have you've closed people out of your life or maybe you've closed love out of your life and you're single right now thinking, hmm, when am I going to find Mr. Right or Mrs. Right? When is my prince or princess going to come into my life? and rescue me and that's the thing that spirit is wanting you to focus on right now is that this week you know you have some revelations that are made to you a lot of you will be kind of contemplating your your memories and going back into those memories that were kind of painful relationships or partners that abused you or that took advantage of your kindness or just cheated on you and you're asking yourself a lot of you are asking yourself did i contribute to this did i am i responsible for the way that i was treated you know blah 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 Basically, Spirit is saying that you're not responsible for what has happened, but you need to kind of take your power back and really level up. <laughs> I like that saying, level up, because this is a level up week for you. Um, and you're seeking that truth, but the truth is, is staring you front and center in your face. And it's there. And basically, the message this week for a lot of you Virgos out there is that specifically when it comes to love if you're single and you've been single for quite some time the only roadblock right now is you you're blocking yourself from this and this could be again fears that you are holding on to that you're never going to find a partner or you just don't know how to begin to start the dating process you know put yourself on dating websites even though it may not be easy you don't not everyone has success on them but put yourself out there go out there and mingle put you know if you like someone and, you know, that you notice that they don't have a wedding ring on their finger, you know, kind of strike up a conversation. But basically do yourself. This is 2019, people. This is not, you know, the 19th century, you know, the 1900s where, you know, people like women were, you know, specifically women. If you wanted something, you know, a lot of times back then women would never, you know, make the first move or do anything like that. But if you like someone and you really want them to know, you know, don't wait for that opportunity to miss you. You know, we live in a culture right now where men and women should be bold and brave to express what they feel. So take that opportunity this week to do that. And through that, you're going to find healing. When you step outside your comfort zone, not only do you align yourself greater to your your um, your true path, but you also find healing in that and it's healing for you. So I want to thank all you Virgos out there. Big angel hugs. If you did like this reading, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you would like to book a private psychic reading with me, you can go to my website. It's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. While you're there, don't forget to check out the amazing pieces of jewelry that I am selling now. Uh, and it is available for international shipping. Um, and then if you would like to, uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe now by hitting that red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week. 
Libra, this week for you, Libra, is a lot of success and growth. Your goals, you know, if you're not, if you weren't happy with a job, a lot of you could already have transitioned um, to a new job or in the process of doing so. But Spirit is saying that basically things are going like at a whirlwind speed. A lot of you may be feeling emotionally drained, fatigued, tired. A lot of you could be knowing that you're stuck in a job that is not fulfilling and want to step out of that. And basically you're going to be given signs and you're going to see people people that surround you that have done the same thing as you and kind of transitioned away already in an easy way with the energy of the full moon, of the new moon this week in particular you're going to be drawing a lot of your inner god and goddesses out there uh your power that inner god inner goddess power and you're going to have a, a choice of growing or staying stagnated in the same place that you are so spirit is saying for a lot of you you're going to embrace it there's this new vitality this new uh energy downloads of information that is coming through the universe to you a lot of you are awakening to a higher power you're awakening to your higher self and that is powerful in itself because it's going to help you move away from all this stagnation these things and patterns and thought processes that are no longer serving you and a lot of you are going to be giving and uh giving you know yourself giving your thoughts your opinions your help oh, that's the the feeling this week for a lot of you libras you want to give and you're going to be receiving as well so be willing to receive and accept any kind of you know offer any kind of uh, good you know opportunities that are now coming into your lap or coming into your life um, for those of you that are looking to move to a new apartment to a new home you know this is a possibility this week for you to kind of you know uh, pinpoint or uh, point it down to like the right spot or place that you want for yourself and where you can visualize yourself uh, you know being at so this is a whole week about you know manifesting those desires and like i said with the energy of the new moon uh on friday you know it's going to be very powerful for a lot of us and you're going to feel that power and you can draw for it so like friday saturday is going to be a good uh, a good time frame for root work witchcraft like um any spells love magic you know things of that nature that you would be embracing this is a perfect time to use the energy of the new moon to do that so i want to thank you so much for tuning in if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up also be sure to follow me on facebook and instagram at psychic medium ray and if you'd like to book a private psychic reading you can go to my website it's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop and while you're there don't forget to check out my awesome jewelry that's in there that i've created for sale um so blessings and love and light have an amazing amazing week wherever you are in the world my fellow scorpios how are y'all this is going to be a week in which you are going to be finding right now that maybe there's something from your past that is opening you up a little bit more you're able now to step into your power a lot of you are going to be feeling a lot of sexual tension especially if you are single and you're ready to enter into a positive relationship there's going to be a lot of of that sexual communication or feelings that are stirring being stirred deep within you this is your inner goddess or inner god feeling and power that is coming to you and it's really kind of revitalizing you it's making you feel like there's you're on top of the world and most of all what's so special about it is that there could be other people that maybe you're giving this or expressing this love to or affection and it's being corresponded to in you know miraculous ways that you wouldn't think so this is a week about really loving your life right now where you're at embracing you know your career letting go of any job or position some of you are working two jobs three jobs and you could have like a crappy job that you're really not happy with your boss is like the worstest person you know to work for and a lot of you are just stuck there thinking you know should i continue to be here i'm really miserable let that place go give your notice or just walk out but i would say to give your notice if you are planning on leaving you know if you're just already done you know have something lined up but the message here is not to overwork yourself because a lot of you out there are hard workers and you're kind of working yourself into the ground you're probably putting your social life on hold especially if you have two to three jobs that you're working right now just to make ends meet this is going to be a week in which you really need to make those decisions and restructure and maybe find a job that's full-time that would you know compensate 
uh, for the extra, you know, supplemental income that you're looking for or that you're currently working, um, working, you know, at. A lot of you also need to detach from a situation. This could be like your your uh, parents that you, some of you that live with your parents still, or this could be uh, a situation with a partner that is very toxic in nature. Uh, there is a situation right now where you're needing to detach from your surroundings. You're needing to kind of break free, and doing so makes you sad because you don't want to hurt anyone. That's the, the energy that's coming through for a lot of you Scorpios. But spirit is saying that you have to take chances you have to kind of be that person that takes a risk because through that you're going to be finding that you are honoring yourself and you're causing a lot of things and opportunities to blo uh, blossom and bloom in your life and that's important that word bloom this week is specifically what is pertaining to scorpio there's many facets and many different areas of your life that are blooming and you need to really embrace it full-heartedly and not reject it or push it back because this is no longer a time for you to be in your comfort zone this is a time to step out of your comfort zone and really embrace your power more than ever so i want to thank you all for tuning in if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up also be sure to follow me on facebook and instagram at psychic medium ray if you'd like to book a private psychic reading you can visit my website at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop and also while you're there in the shop check out my awesome jewelry pieces that are now for sale these are energ energetically programmed with healing by me. So uh, blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week wherever you are in the world. Sagittarius, this week for you, Sagittarius, it's going to be a week about love. There is a, possibly a lot of you that are single Sagittarians out there are really mingling. You really are kind of now embracing your inner God or inner goddess. Uh, and a lot of you are really just shining. You're shining and it's, it's beautiful. Um, you are embracing your power you're also learning how to release which is something that a lot of the signs are struggling with but with the energy of the new moon a lot of you are going to be releasing that energy of the new moon starts on the about the thursday to friday so going into the weekend you're going to feel at your high, at the peak of your energy you know you're going to feel very uh calm cool and collective and also uh, have a lot of energy to kind of focus on those tasks or projects that you've been putting off. Uh, but there is something this week that is a message that's very strong for a lot of you Sagittarians out there. That message is that some of you are seeking something. You're seeking some higher guidance. You're seeking some spiritual guidance or something that is not uh, necessarily, you know, wrong or you know really bad going on in your life but a lot of you are questioning where you're really at and this is the part like when you start questioning you know things and situations and where you're at in your life that means that you're very awakened spiritually awakened because you are no longer confined to repeating that routine you're not stuck in a routine phase you know you are kind of branching out you know there's something that is not fulfilling or something that doesn't make you fully satisfied in your life and you need to change that to to seek greater fulfillment and accomplishment in your life so this could be like uh moving up in your company if it's like there's opportunities or uh maybe transferring to another place that would be usher in more opportunities for you a lot of you are contemplating some major life-changing decisions this could be a move across country across state or even just jobs you know career transitioning from one career to another career that you know you really didn't see yourself doing years ago but now it makes sense so kind of embrace those things so i want to thank you so much for tuning in if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up also be sure to follow me on facebook and instagram at psychic medium ray um, also, be sure to book a private reading if you'd like one at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. And while you're there, be sure to check out my amazing jewelry pieces that I have created. And they have all been energetically programmed with healing energy. So check that out. And most of all, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of this video, as well as a notification bell icon. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing, amazing week. Capricorn, this week for you, Capricorn, it is going to be a week in which you are really confronting your shadow self. A lot of you are going through some, you know, apart from work and being a hard worker, you're going through some deep 
psychological or mental or spiritual changes that are questioning your darker side. You're, you're questioning your darker side and why sometimes you cope with certain things a certain way or why you react a certain way when someone is telling you something and you get very defensive. So a lot of you are kind of understanding there may be something that's unhealed within you or something that you don't like within someone else that reminds you of something in yourself that needs to be healed. Uh, and this is typically why a lot of people will react when someone makes a comment about them or criticizes them in some kind of way. Yes, they're probably projecting that onto you, but if you are easily offended and not really your your face is by it then there is some level of truth to what is being said that you feel within yourself that is possibly true or not uh, necessarily healed and this is going to be the the triggers that trigger you this week so pay attention to those triggers and really kind of heal them so that way you can get across that because when you start feeding those um emotions that other people strike up in you that are negative like self-loathing or you're feeling like you are not worthy these are uh, it, you know, low vibrations that really detract you or derail you from your ultimate goal and life path. So this week, a lot of you are going to be finding that there's going to be someone that wants to lead, um, someone that is very masculine, someone that wants to kind of lead you and kind of give you direction, whether this is a boss, this is a husband, this is a boyfriend, or this is, you know, a partner out there, or maybe a brother, you know, there's someone out there that is, is very much uh, cares about you, loves you, uh, whether this is, you know, romantic or just a friendship, and they really care about you and they want to see you grow, but you must be willing to allow them to take the lead this week. Um, some of you also are waiting for to hear back from something. Maybe you've applied to an apartment or for a lease uh, on an apartment, or, you know, you've uh, put a bid, you know, or put in, um, yeah, you know, your like a certain amount of money towards a home. I guess it would be called like a bid or, you know, whatever it's called. You know, you're putting some money down, you're interested in a home, but there's a lot of people that are also interested. So, you know, you could be in that kind of situation where you're waiting to hear back from it. And it's fair to say that you're going to receive some, a lot of you are going to receive some feedback this week in particular. Um, but kind of observe, you know, the things that are going on around you. You have a lot of things that are kind of distracting you in your personal downtime. Kind of shut off the electronics, kind of dedicate, you know, each evening, maybe an hour before bedtime to just watching TV, being in your thoughts, journaling, you know, doing something that is more healthy than just being stuck on your phone so i want to thank you so much for tuning in if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up also be sure to follow me on facebook and instagram at psychic medium ray and if you'd like to book a private psychic reading you can go to my website at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop and while you're there don't forget to check out my awesome jewelry that i've just created uh and they are all pieces that have been programmed uh, energetically programmed with healing energy so um if you have not yet subscribed to this channel go ahead and hit that red subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon blessings and love and light have an amazing amazing week Aquarius, this week for you, Aquarius, it's going to be a week in which you are kind of moving away from, you know, positive situations that, uh, well, negative situations that have not been very positive uh, for you. A lot of you are m contemplating possibly moving, looking at new homes for a lot of you that are out there. Some of you are also kind of being overworked and spirit is saying this is going to be a time for you to kind of slow down really rest and reconsider you know what is going on in your life there could be some power struggles with another person perhaps there is a a decision that was made by the, another person that you don't understand or that you feel like you are you know uh, in the middle of a situation or something didn't make you look good for whatever reason you know apart from that you know that's going on you know you also have to understand where that other person is coming from as well and really knowing that this wasn't you know a jab at yourself or your character or what you are feeling right now but rather kind of embrace your higher self and really let go of you know those negative thoughts and really understand that perhaps that other person has a valid reason for their actions etc and they do care about you um, but sometimes it's better not to really focus too much on that, but let it go. Um, there's someone that really is 
trying to manifest something in their life. And that could be you this week. You're trying to manifest something right now, a, a greater future, um, money, attract, you know, the money that you're wanting to attract into your life. Um, and you are creating that. You are bringing that into focus. Uh, a lot of you are also finding that this week you are going to be thinking a lot about people in your past. This could be past men or women in your life that have been involved with you in a romantic way and maybe you have feelings for these people still and you are stuck in a relationship or in a situation right now that is not really bringing you uh, true happiness but rather you feel obligated or you feel this need to and just, you know, kind of go with the flow for now to see where things are. So Spirit is saying not to beat yourself up, but basically let yourself go through these motions, go through the flow, um, whatever your, your memories are being recalled. Um, there's going to be some decisions later in the week that some of you will be, you know, implementing in your life that will be bringing greater change in the next couple of weeks. This could be traveling. This could be related to TV work. This could be even investments that you're making with your finances and um, helping, you know, other people. So there's a lot of decisions that are being made and you will be guided. So blessings and love and light. Have an amazing week, Aquarius. Okay, Pisces, this week for you, Pisces, it is going to be a week in which you are really just feeling alone. A lot of you could be feeling alone, even though you have someone with you. You may be feeling like you're not understood or things are just not going in the way that you want it. There could also be some of your darkest fears that are really kind of manifesting. And for whatever reason, that kind of strikes fear in you. It could be that you're trying to control a situation or have it kind of, you know, go in your, your um, direction the way that you want. But the universe is blocking this path for you for a reason. Um, but whatever the situation, a lot of you are going to be okay regardless of it. Some of you are also stuck maybe in a uh, in a job or career that it's not very fulfilling for you. So a lot of you will be making some exits this week, you know, moving away from that or slightly detaching yourself from the situation, meaning that when you are going to work, you're going through the motions, you're doing your work in a timely way and, you know, doing everything like the way that you would. But um, spiritually and mentally, you're not there. You don't want to be there. You're just doing what you have to do to make your, to earn your living. And that's not bringing you true happiness. So a lot of you will try to, you know, be finding ways to kind of find balance and really kind of, uh, distract away from all of that. So that way you can get to a happy spot. So that's where your focus is this week for Pisces. I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. And if you'd like to book a private reading, you can go to my website at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing, amazing week.